Is that high voltage? Oh no, such danger! See that? See this pattern? That's what happens when you neck a CRT. The air rushes in to fill this so fast that it blasts all the phosphors off the screen. You can actually see inside there, there's a shadow mask and there's a little tear in it right there. Probably from the air a tear in that that's the thing that aligns the pixels and whatever I don't know all right what I'm gonna do now is strip this thing out keep the circuit board and the everything and then say goodbye to this TV Ooh, it's vintage 1992 Wow <laughs> Safety warning, come on. Where are you? X-rays. Right, here's a lesson for you guys. Uh, I was trying to remove this high voltage connector and this bit shocked me. I thought it was discharged because I could hear the, um, the high voltage arcing, but I guess there was still a bit of charge in it. It didn't like hurt me bad, but it did startle the hell out of me. Stupid piece of crap. So you can just remove it with force. In fact, let's get all this out of here. Remove it. I need to cut some of these wires, but there you go. It's a part now. There you go. That's it. I always keep everything I can out of these because there's a lot of good parts, especially this flyback transformer. You can make some cool high voltage arcs with it. You can see how dirty it is and that's because the high voltage attracts dust. So if you can look inside your TV and tell if it's baked or if it's not by how much dust is inside. You can see there's also a lot of dirt in this one everywhere because this one was sitting outside when I found it. Here's the glass where that thing broke off. You can see it kind of I don't know where the electron gun went. I think it went flying. But attached to these connectors, there would have been a like a vacuum tube thing that would have made the pixels. Um, yeah, that's about it. And I also saved this coil. It's a big... This is the degaussing coil or whatever. I don't really know what it does, but... Um, yeah, there's a, there's a ton of copper in this thing, so you can make some stuff with that. You can make antennas with them. I unrolled one, and it made a great AM antenna for a vintage radio. And, of course, the power cord. You can cut it off and put it on your vintage radios or whatever you need. And then the rest goes to the dump. I don't save this copper, the yoke. This is what scans the, the raster on the screen. I don't save these. They're, they're useless. 
See, this one's brittle. It's just breaking because it's so baked. Oh, and there's a speaker. Oh, yeah. You know what we're going to do with that one. Hey, just one final thing left to do. This is the deluxe 1992 Toshiba television speaker on 120 volts. Oh, crap, keeps moving around. There you go. Stay. Oh, fuck, it came undone. All right, let's try that one more time. It's gonna work this time. That was lame. I can smell it though. It smells like burning speaker. Alright, that's it. Goodbye.